old. She can do hard things. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm Sydney if you're new here and happy Easter. I just finished off another vlog and I'm starting a new one for the next couple days. We got back this morning from Jacksonville. We were there for our friend's engagement if you watched the last vlog and we got back literally changed and I did my makeup on the way home from Jacksonville for church and changed my clothes and then we got on the road to go to church. After church we got some smoothies from Kale Me Crazy, got some groceries from Whole Foods so I'm gonna do a little grocery haul in a second and then we normally do like half at Whole Foods half at Publix just because some things are a little crazy pricey at Whole Foods and we can get them for less at Publix so that's why we do a little bit of half and half, but I figured I would take y'all along for the next couple days and start one off. We've got some cottage cheese. These are the lactose-free cottage cheese and these don't bother my stomach at all. So I love these and I had missed cottage cheese because I used to have it way back when. And I feel like it's been hard to find lactose-free cottage cheese lately, but I love how Whole Foods has the individual ones. Some Siggy's yogurt. These are the peach ones and they have 10 grams of protein, which is kind of hard to find in the dairy-free ones. And these ones are, is it coconut? Yeah, coconut blend. We've got eggs. These are Jay's Better Bagels. He really likes these. He got the Everything Bagel and the Classic. Some Kite Hill cream cheese. I got the garden kind, dairy-free cream cheese. Some True Whip. This is basically just like Cool Whip, but it's vegan, gluten-free, and it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup, no preservatives. I really like this with some chocolate chips and Jay just recently got hooked on it too. Ground turkey and more ground turkey. Some tomato and basil Simple Mills crackers. Some garlic and herb crackers. And then lastly, we just got some Japanese sweet potatoes. Here's my fit for the walk. I'm gonna go get a walk in and I just need to move my body. We've been in the car pretty much all day long because we were coming back from Jacksonville, it took probably four hours or so got back, changed and went to church. So we were in the car, sat down while we were in church, got back here and I've been doing some emails and I just need to move my body. It's 5.30, I have not done hardly any kind of movement all day long. So I have on these loose aligned shorts and then this matching long sports bra. I guess this is more just like a tank top, but um, crop top, I guess you would say. I don't know the style of this, I'll have to find it. But of course the matching brown from Lulu that I love. And I'm gonna have a little snack and then we're gonna head on a walk. Charging my laptop right now and then I'm gonna go work out by the pool. This is work by the pool, not work out by the pool, obviously. Here's my little bikini from Amazon. I'm obsessed with this. My sister had it on when I had gone and laid out with her and I was like, I need the link to that. And it's from Amazon, are you kidding me? It kind of gives me like, Kulani Kini vibes. Got a little ice plunge ready for our faces. I'm gonna wait until Jay gets up just so that we can do it together though. Three, two, one. Oh, I have a brain freeze. Oh, shoot, what the? Home from my workout class and doing a little breakfast, I guess, taco situation. Yeah, I think I might do two of these because they're pretty small. But I have the almond flour tortillas from Siete and sprayed my pan. I'm gonna put this one on here too without burning my hand. And then I'm gonna make some eggs, avocado, and some salsa. I don't really have a ton of stuff that I want to put in it, but I think just do like two or three whole eggs and then some avocado. We've got some carbs, some fats, some protein. I ended up doing my Thrive Salsa because I didn't realize we had some of this in the pantry. And the other kind, I think is a little too old. So I did whole eggs, some siete, almond flour wraps, Thrive Market, salsa in medium, and then I did avocado and spring mix.
and voila. Sit down and eat, and then we can start our work day. I have this little riser thing that I use when I am doing my emails on my treadmill, but it's not really doing me much good right here. I really want something that I can have over my lap so that this isn't right on my lap, but it's not really working. So I'm just gonna have to be like leaning over towards it. Like this, like this is what I'm gonna have to do because I can't even put it over my, my lap. I guess it's good to have something at least blocking. I don't know if that helps at all, but. I want something for my neck too, so I'm not looking down at it. I've got to get enough work done before the sun starts creeping its way up and I can't see anything. So, gonna head back inside. We are headed in to look at some landscaping options. We need to look at some planners. We are getting that like space right behind the pool all done, I think next week, hopefully. So we're out here and it looks like we have a lot to look through. So let's do this. It's April Fool's. I'm gonna tell Jay I want this one. Jay, this is actually cool. To go right behind the right behind the uh, waterfall. <laughs> he believes me. He's walking away now. April Fools. <laughs> good because I was thinking what the heck is she talking about? That would look horrible. Y'all look at the amount we have to look through. Okay so we need a three gallon one. Does it say how big they are on them? I don't have a clue. These are cutie. I obviously we don't have a reason for them but I love that kind of pattern right there. So I'm thinking that this is kind of the style that we want. We didn't see anything really what we wanted um, at the place that we were just at the nursery and they were all kind of like pottery vibes like very different and unique but we like plain. We like plain Jane because we're thinking that we're going to do two trees. We're going to do uh, it's almost like a quartz looking white rock back here all the way down to the very end and we're thinking two trees and then also some different plants so i'm thinking that's gonna look pretty good but the gray can kind of pull in the gray that we have right here and kind of have a little bit of contrast to the white rock that we'll have and also we obviously have these that are gray so it would kind of bring in the gray over there. Look at him just spying on me, talking to y'all. You got something to say? Mister? Huh? You love my explanation? Yeah. I'm saying we're pulling in the gray from the chairs. <laughs> I don't even know if they can see you. But I think it's going to look freaking fabulous out here. We had um, Pool Perfection do our pool if you are in the Tampa area. They did a great job and I'm super impressed with everything. It looks so good so far. And then we will have someone come out and do the landscaping. He came out the other day and we did all of like the rock choice and the plant choice and tree choice. And he said that we can probably get started next week and it should only take a couple days. And these should be done this next week. Actually this week, hopefully, cause it's Monday. Having my little Cool Whip and chocolate chip treat right now. I actually meant to make a Ninja Creamy for tonight and I didn't. So this is what I'm having, but I'm gonna make a Ninja for tomorrow. Well, this is how I woke up. <laughs> I slept with this sucker over my curls because sometimes they get so frizzy and such. And I figure it's like a silk pillowcase pretty much, right? So, so good on your hair so it doesn't get all frizzy. We've got some pieces that fell out a little. But good morning, guys. Let's see, let's see. Looks pretty good, other than the fronts, of course. But we can fix that. Yeah, that looks really good. I don't even have my contacts in, so maybe. <laughs> Here is my outfit of the day. I have on this little Lululemon athletic dress, and then I have on my Amazon zip up on top. They're almost the exact same color, so I think that these look pretty cute together. 
and then I have on these sunnies right here and we're headed out. I have, well, we'll just chat once we get in the car, okay? Okay, doke. I am outside of my doctor and I go to Form Health and they have them everywhere pretty much. Not everywhere, but they have them nationwide and it's a functional medicine doctor and I have absolutely loved them. They've literally cured my life, changed my life because I had a million different things going on and they helped me figure out the root cause rather than going to all these different doctors and putting band-aids on everything. So I am so grateful for that. But one thing I freaking hate is that I have to get my blood work done pretty often. <laughs> I am going in to get, I think it's been probably three months since I've gotten blood work done and I have to do it fasted. I feel nauseous, hungry. I know that's ridiculous because it's only 8 a.m. but I feel actually like I'm gonna throw up and I think it's because I also hate getting blood work done and it freaks me out. So maybe like the nerves mixed with not eating. I normally will eat at like 6.30 a.m. I don't normally have breakfast like first thing in the morning. So I think that's part of it. I also just think my nerves. So that's definitely, that's definitely not helping. So we're gonna go in. They had to take so much blood last time. I hope it's less this time. And it just, yeah, let's just get this over with. But afterwards, I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and get some work done. I haven't been doing that lately. You guys remember when I'd go to a coffee shop every single day? It was so nice to just like get out and be around people and have a change of scenery. So I'm gonna do that today. And I think I'm gonna go to the addition, which is downtown Tampa. And I told a couple of my girly friends if they have work to do that they can come meet me but I was like just so you know I do need to get work done this is not focusing at all I do need to get work done so we're not just gonna be chit-chatting and we'll see if they come but regardless I think that when I get back out here I might put a little bit of makeup on my face and then we'll go but traffic in the morning around this time in Tampa is insanity and this was like a little outside of Tampa I feel like this is more like Carrollwood area and I just didn't know how long it was gonna take. Sure enough, it took like 35 minutes. And just like that, we're done. We did it, we took it like a champ. I'm good, I feel totally fine. I mean, y'all, I kinda psyched myself out because last time I got, that happens every single time because I have to replace my battery in my key. And this is my spare key, so I need to replace it in both of them. I last time had to give 10 tubes of blood. 10 of them and it took so long I got so lightheaded I felt like I was gonna pass out they had to lay me down and give me I think it was like orange juice or something and maybe like some crackers I can't remember exactly what I had to do um, but I remember being traumatized because I was like how am I gonna drive home I had to sit there for a while and it was it was a little brutal I will say that much but this time it was only three tubes of blood and she was done before we knew it so I was like yeah that was nothing I think I sent one text message and and kind of just sat there for a second and it was done that easy um, but I do not like giving blood and it's like I used to think it's looking at it that's that really like gets in my head but even if I'm not looking I still just do not like giving blood but we're gonna head to I think I deserve some Ellis organics like I think that I deserve a smoothie and something to eat Ellis organic let's see how far away we are what the I'm 36 minutes away from Ellis organics how does that happen so yeah this is definitely on like the other side of Tampa I'm so directionally challenged but I've got to go that way anyways because I'm going to a coffee shop somewhat near there yeah I'm in Northdale whatever Northdale is that kind of stinks but that's okay traffic in the morning I can see all of the red and yellow we are gonna head there and have a little something to eat I cannot eat quick enough I actually do have um a little go macro bar that I didn't finish so I brought like the second half of it from yesterday, I might just nibble on that to have something to get me there. But I actually already feel better. I was nauseous before when I was hungry, but I think it was, it had to have been nerves because I don't feel as bad now. <laughs> we did it, she's unstoppable, she can do hard things. tried a new one i normally do banana bread i will say banana bread still is the winner this one's coffee chip it has cold brew in it i don't mind it but like i said it's not better than banana bread you don't know unless you try though so worth a shot 
so obviously worth drinking and it has um, chocolate vegan protein in it cold brew i think some cacao nibs maybe frozen bananas pretty good also got this to bring with me to go to a coffee shop this is the chipotle chicken salad that i had the other day it has chicken walnut cashew pistachio quinoa chipotle bell pepper and spinach and the sauce is a little bit spicy so i don't even have it with sauce and it still tastes great without the sauce this is like a really good option for more of a whole food option for eating out. Gluten-free and dairy-free too. Head to this place right here, it's called The Addition, and I'm gonna do some work there. They have a little coffee shop downstairs. If you guys remember where our engagement party was after we got engaged, we had like a little engagement celebration. I don't know if I would even call it a party because it was probably only like 12 of us maybe, but that was up on the rooftop of The Addition, and I love that area. Also, I have been meaning to tell you guys about this place because the Pearl down here, which is like one of our favorite restaurants, this has like apartments right above it. And I think they're called, oh, what are they called again? Um, I honestly forget the name of them, but we saw photos of them once and we were like, what are those apartments? And it was while the house was still being built. And I remember saying to Jay, I'm like, I almost wish that we would have done, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't need to hit my horn, sorry. <laughs> I'm embarrassed okay anyways um sorry dude he literally came back thinking i'm like chit chatting with him but we said that we almost wish that we would have done a year down here before the house was being built and that's just because it's so walkable and i never got to live in a walkable area i lived in like a different area of tampa and honestly so did jay like jay didn't live downtown either and it would have been so nice to like be able to walk to workout classes have dinners down here and just have like a year of the city life before moving into a house too late now obviously we already have the house and love our house but it is kind of like nothing super close to downtown unless you are downtown or like in the Hyde Park area and stuff and I love channel side so I will say like if you feel like you're in a rush to buy a house and you feel like renting is such a waste and you feel like you're trying to like keep up with everyone else who's buying homes and this and that I say it's not the end of the world to have to rent for your 20s. I almost wish, and this is me saying this just because like, I think everyone's like, wow, I can't wait to buy a house. And there's a lot of perks of it. And I love, once again, love our home, but it's just the beginning of like expenses and everything. When you buy a house, there's so many different things that you have to purchase. There's so many different things that you have to keep up with and it is a lot. So I almost wish that I would have like taken advantage of the amenities of an apartment for another year. Maybe just be able to experience some different locations before buying a house. But I'm like probably like 20-ish minutes from downtown, 20, 25 minutes. And I was before too, like where my apartment was. As crazy as that is, because Tampa is just so big and busy, I think it's a little bit different Like if the traffic's not bad, but traffic is insane in Tampa. So yeah, I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell you guys that, but I every time I'm down here, I'm like, oh, I wonder what it would be like to live right down here for a little bit. I don't know of any apartments other than those right there. I haven't seen any other ones, but I'm sure there's lots of apartments right down here. my wedding website I've got all my girlies with me hi girls yeah Steph had a stomach ache and I was like oh I matter of fact I have tummy drops in my mouth and I said of course you I genuinely have been more productive. This has probably been the most productive work day. I need to start going to a coffee shop again because if I'm in one spot, and I normally, if I have like my girlfriends around me, it's kind of hard for me to focus. Today, laser focus. I felt so good and I have been here, it's 3 p.m. and I'm leaving. I've been here since, I think I got here at like 8.45 or so and I have not stopped working this entire time and it has been so good. Normally when I have girlfriends with me, I feel like I chat too much, but this was like a good mix 
mixture of kind of just talking here and there about random things, but then getting right back to work, multitasking here and there. And Kenzie was actually helping me because I was doing my wedding website for some of that. And I had already started it, but like I pretty much finalized majority of it. I still need to do a couple things on there. I'm using the knot on my wedding websites through the knot and I am not doing um, I say I because I was just setting it up, but obviously me and Jay are not doing a wedding registry. We're doing your gift to us is just your presence. But if you want to give um, towards our honeymoon, we have like our different activities. So if they want to pay for a lunch or if they want to pay for like drinks or whatever that might be, then we have that option on there and we have like our itinerary. So it's like we have this private tour that we're going on and we have this lunch and this lunch. And if they want to contribute to that, then that is super special just because originally we were going to do no option for gifts and people would end up just giving cash and checks and stuff my parents said and I was like yeah that's true like I think they would probably rather have something that they're actually contributing to where if we can see where they contribute to we can send them photos from that and we can say like with our thank you note we can say like here's a lunch that you covered for us and I think that's pretty special uh so I was working on that I was also working on our bridesmaids and grooms part of the website and just doing like all the different design on there and trying to match up like different people's heights for the wedding and then I was also working on my four-week program which I know I say so often but um, there's a lot to do when it comes to the design of it and making sure that everything looks right and all of the links go to the right spot and so I was just going through and I was gonna use a lot of the videos I already had but I kind of want new videos for each thing just because obviously you can tell when something's not updated and if it's like an eight-month-old video I just want new videos so I'm just going through and figuring out which videos I still need to record majority of them are all done and I got so much done I just feel so good I'm thinking I need to start doing that way more often and just getting out and going to a coffee shop and yeah headed out to go on a little bike ride with Jay I have on this I think it's the license to train maybe tank top I'll find it but I think that's what it's called and then I have on my Amazon shorts that I always wear, my Amazon socks, and I've got my sneakers out in the garage, but I'm not gonna bring my camera with me. I am going to go on a bike ride without my phone. It's a nice little time for us to chit chat, but I will see you guys when we get back. Y'all, look what I got. Also, we're obviously back from our bike ride. A package from Rare Beauty. Ah, holy crap. Oh wow, this is insane. Jay, you really need to get a load of this. Y'all, this is insane. What is it? A package from Rare Beauty. What's Rare Beauty? Uh, makeup. Uh -huh. So this is dry brush cleaner. Oh my gosh. This is actually insane. Whew. I can't even believe that I'm receiving this. Joy um, for luminous powder blush. I've got to see what colors, which colors I like because I definitely don't need all of these and can give them to my friends and sister and mom. I think that I like love and hope best. Wait, no, it's happy and hope best. I love their blush. Hope is the one that I used for so long and I ran out so I tried a different kind of blush that I've gotten but I really like hope. This is luminous powder in love. We've got joy, love, truth. I've never tried truth before. Here is love in a little bit darker of a color. Hope, cheer, happy, and here's joy of this. This one's a little bit more of like an orangey look. This is what I'm excited about. I need new brushes all the time or to clean my brushes, which they gave me this cleaner. So dry brush cleaner. I wonder how that works. Guys, I cannot believe this. This is probably one of my favorite PR packages. A nice little brush from Rare Beauty and also this one too. Hopefully my ground beef isn't burning right now because I'm so busy doing this. Oh my gosh. Thank you Rare Beauty. This is probably one of the coolest surprises ever today. I didn't even know that they were sending this. I got one other Rare Beauty package before and it was with that like new lotion that they came out with and some like body products. 
and I freaked out when I received that one. So it's pretty cool. The fact that their team or marketing team has even put me on their list. Uh, yeah, this is insane. So that was exciting to come home to. Does not have to be anything crazy. We've just got some ground beef, some Japanese sweet potatoes, which are literally the best thing ever. Some avocado, spring mix, and a little bit of barbecue sauce on top. And voila, dinner is served. Good morning, y'all. My heatless curls did not really do well last night. And I think it's because I made a silly mistake of once they were already done, I like wetted my hair once they were already in the heatless curls. And like only one half of them turned out really curly. So it's just really hard for me to like pull them back when my hair's wet to do the heatless curls. So that's why I did it afterwards. And I'm like, why? Why is it only getting one half? I don't know. Because it's French braided, but I guess because it's like weaved under, I have no clue. But I've learned my lesson on that one. This is like the first time that they haven't looked good since I started doing the unicorn one. So, and they don't even look horrible. I always do this really quick because it's so cold at first, but whew. I'm just doing the regular ice roller this morning. Jay just left. He's been doing these workout classes there. I think they're like geared towards athlete. I think it's called House of Athletes in Tampa, but he's been doing these workouts that are, he says they remind him of like football training and like football workouts. And he really likes that because he played football in college. So he like kind of misses that kind of vibe and he likes to, to switch it up with his workouts here and there. So anyways, he left pretty early and went to that workout and I made my bed. I've just kind of been getting the day started a little bit, my contacts in and I'm gonna eat a little something then get a workout in. I am just gonna work out here this morning. Wait, what temperature is it? It's already 71 degrees. Wait, wow, is that right? 71 degrees this early? Oh yeah, the heat is right around, sure enough. Sure enough, dang, it's supposed to be like a rainy, gloomy day today. I had a dream that I woke up to snow, so I guess this is better than that. <laughs> I woke up and I'm like, what the heck? Snow on the ground in Florida? Well, that was what happened in my dream. Not I actually woke up. Going to have my vitamin C symbiotica and my greens this morning. Wanna know what's wild? I started, I was just thinking about this. I started taking one up screens and reds. It was right before I got them, right before my 21st birthday. And I was like, these are, cause I mean, they were a splurge when I was that age. I mean, supplements are not cheap. And I got them for myself as a 21st birthday, birthday present. So it's been that long. I'm almost 26 in May. I Can you guys believe that? That's so wild. And I don't know, I just think it's crazy. And I literally try not to skip a single day for that many years. Almost five whole years of this. It's wild. Cheers. These honestly do not taste bad at all whatsoever. The vitamin C, citrus, vanilla. It's just like the consistency that gets me a little. You could put these in a drink. Oh, sour. You could put them in a drink, but I prefer not to ruin my greens. That's like me with Kickstart. I normally will take my Kickstart like middle of the day because I don't like to start my day off like that. It's so spicy for me. Jay does not have any problem. He mixes it with his greens. So does my dad. And I think my sister does too. They just mix them. But I'm like, I want to enjoy my greens in the morning. I want a gentle start to my day. <gasps> what am I doing? Putting this in my cupboard. 
having a little yogurt and granola this morning for breakfast. Well, pre-workout snack. I ended up coming to the gym to do some recording because this spot right here is just so good, especially on gloomy days. It's so weird, like the lighting just looks so good in here compared to at home with the crazy lighting when it's still dark out or if it's gloomy out. So I'm just getting right now, I have like, I think 10 more exercises to record. Kind of a lot, I'm like a little bit beat right now. I think I've done like 10 exercises. And that's normally like three to four videos per one because I normally don't like the angle or I don't like the lighting or how zoomed in or how zoomed out it is. So it's a full on workout or the, and then some. About to go on a walk with Kenzie and Holly. We're gonna go on Bay Shore. It's looking a little scary out right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's looking like it's gonna storm. I am a little bit worried about that. I'm gonna check the weather really quickly because we probably shouldn't get too far from our cars if it's gonna torrential downpour on us. Um, okay, it says that it's supposed to just be windy until 2 p.m., so we should be fine for right now. But I'm just gonna go on a walk with them and then head back. I just had a call since we've last talked. I ended up going to the gym to record rather than stay at home and record because the lighting was just not, it was very subpar. So um, went to the gym, got some things recorded. I think I got uh, 20 exercises recorded, which is pretty dang good um, because that's like a full workout times three. It normally takes me like two or three sets to get the video that I like just because uh, if I don't like the angle or the lighting or whatever it might be. So I did that for, I think I was there for about an hour and a half and then had two different calls that I got on and now I'm gonna meet for a little walk. It's 10.30 right now. We've been moving and grooving today. It feels like the day is like halfway done and it's only 10.30. So we've packed a lot into today and this will be a good little midday break. Making a little lunch right now kind of random but I've been craving it we've got my lactose free cottage cheese and I'm gonna do some thin slices of cucumber some little tomatoes and some arugula on top some salt and pepper it is going to be so good I wanted it last night but didn't have any cucumbers Good thing we walked earlier today because it is raining now. Absolute torrential downpour. So what I'm doing right now is going and getting each exercise that I recorded and getting that movement edited, making sure it's muted, and then uploading it to, it's called Vimeo, which is what I use to attach to my workout program and I make sure it's muted just because I want them to be able to listen to their music while they watch the video for a little demonstration. And then I upload it to this right here, which is all organized in what kind of workout it is. So I already have this one that just uploaded earlier today. And then here are a lot of other exercises that I have in my folders and then from there I'm able to find them easier when I'm doing my workout programs and attaching the video. Making some dinner right now. I'm doing green beans, Japanese sweet potato, and I'm going to heat up some ground beef. That's like one of the best things. I always thank myself later when I actually do prep proteins and it's so not hard at all, it's never, but I'm always like, oh, I don't feel like making food, but having 
ground beef, ground turkey, whatever it might be later on in the week and having it last like even three days, it's such a game changer. It makes me feel like I've got my life together so much more and then I only have to prep my veggies. So in the air fryer, we got green beans on one side and then sweet potatoes on the other. Dinner is served. Also, this brewmate cup, the cup of the day. It has this little lock on the top and you can slide it back and forth to lock it or to unlock it. Unlock and then you pull up on it like that, like so. I just did my skincare, had an everything shower and now I'm blow drying my hair. Ooh, a hair washing night is a whole job in itself. But man, do I just feel like a brand new human afterwards. Once it's dry, I'm really gonna feel good. The only reason I don't let my hair just air dry is because I'm told that it's not really good for your extensions. But I used to love air drying my hair. I use Seven Seconds Detangler and this Kenra Platinum spray. It's a blow dry spray. I've used this for probably, I don't know, six years or so. I've used it as long as I can remember. I know I started it in college. And the reason I actually started using this, this is wild, y'all. I won a giveaway on some, someone, some influencers um, Instagram account and they had a giveaway and it was like the best giveaway ever. I freaked out about it. I got so much stuff in that giveaway. It was like so many hair products, makeup products, whatever. That was the coolest thing ever. Um, but that's what got me hooked on it, crazy enough. And that was when I was doing social media, but only for personal training. So I really didn't have much of a following at all, but I was basically still sharing a bunch just with like fitness personal training stuff. That was when I still worked out or worked at the gym. Fun times, fun stories with random things that remind me of it. <laughs> Unicorn curls are in, feeling fabulous. I did a great job this time and I left them just a little bit damp so that we can see if that helps keep them, ooh, we're not in the frame, keep them a little bit curlier for longer. So we shall see tomorrow, a little experimenting. I got out just a regular spoon if you want me to make yours or no. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I'm about to go on a walk with Gracie. Hopefully I brought my sunglasses. Oh, I don't really wanna wear those ones. I have these ones, but I'm not really feeling them right now. They're gonna have to do though. I'm going on a walk with Gracie on Bayshore this morning. That's like my favorite place to walk lately. I used to do armature works all the time and do the river walk. Mm. Not me spilling all over myself because I didn't wanna mess up my lip gloss. No, we really did. But I will see you guys after, and we're just gonna go on a walk, probably like 45 minutes, hour, and then we'll get our day started. But happy Thursday. Grab, it's my lovely daily smoothie. I'm just kidding, it's not daily, but it is a lot. I got the banana bread one, of course, and I'm gonna go work at the same place I worked the other day at um, the Edition Hotel. change of location we are at Hyde Park now and that would be because my computer died and they have nowhere to plug it in at the market which is the downstairs of Hotel Edition and I sat there for a second and I'm like there has to be somewhere that I can plug my computer in in here 
not a single spot and I've had that issue there before so I needed to have a fully charged computer before going there and last time I did and that lasted me the entire time this time I think I had like 25% when I got there and I still have lots of work to do so I'm gonna try and find a good little spot to get some work done here in Hyde Park and if you're not in Tampa then you probably don't know what Hyde Park is but super cute little area that has a bunch of shops and they have restaurants and coffee shops and it's just a really cute walkable outdoor mall area and if I could live somewhere in Tampa I feel like I would love to live in the Hyde Park area they have lots of different neighborhoods right around it and it's just such a cute area I think if I could do it all over again I don't know I don't even know what houses go for around here but I'm like oh man I would have probably searched over here a little bit or looked at like even rentals for a year because it is so nice to just be able to walk around down here and that would be that would be pretty nice but for now we come and we take on the parking garage, which that's like my least favorite thing ever is having to park in a parking garage, but that is fine. Not the end of the world. And we're gonna go get some work done. Got my big old, this is like my, this is my Gucci tote that I got from the Real Real used. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this. I like this. This is my most used purse actually ever. I love it because it fits my ginormous MacBook. I think I have the largest size MacBook because I like to, um, edit on a big screen. So, oh, what's going on with my sunglasses at the bottom of my bag? I think I might swap to this pair of sunglasses. To these ones? Yeah, this will work. But I like it because I can fit my camera, my computer, my phone, all the things in here. And I accumulate 500 hair ties in here, some earrings, we've got all sorts of stuff, but let's head out. Okay, home from all my work day, and I think it's like 4.15 right now. I need to eat something here in a second, but I got a couple things in from Meshki, and I also have been destroying my closet the last few days to figure out what I'm gonna wear for Coachella. And let's just be honest, I'm like not a festival girly, and I think Coachella is one of those festivals that like a lot of people that go are not festival girls and I think it's gonna be totally fine it's still gonna be so much fun and I'm going with Sol de Janeiro which they're one of my favorite brands so I have been struggling with the outfit choice I feel like there's so much hype around Coachella outfits and just the want to have them be perfect and just also have like them stand out and not have the same thing as everyone else I'm honestly I'm not even gonna stress over it because I'm like not one of those people that can throw together things that would not typically look good and have them look good. I don't know if that makes sense, but like some of the Coachella outfits, I would never think to put those things together. And I just, I even think if I put on that exact same outfit, I'd be like, oh, I don't know what I think about it just because it's not my style, but it looks good on other people. So anyways, I got a couple sets. I am trying to work with my closet as much as I can, but like I'm saying, I don't really have like the style that's really... Coachella vibes, I guess. And it's something really fun. I've never been before and I wanna have fun outfits for it, but I also want to have some stuff that's like, okay, would I wear this in the future? And a couple of the outfits I got from Meshki probably wouldn't wear unless it was for a concert but I feel like my friends are always going to concerts too. Like it could be like sisterhood of the traveling outfits for that because they definitely are concert vibes. And then the other one I would wear is like a bathing suit cover up. Let me just show you. Outfit number one. Okay, Let's, what are my takeaways for this outfit? I feel like it's a lot of belly showing. Am I gonna be super comfortable in this? I'm not positive. I do like like the low waist but not normally if I have just a bandeau on. Like this is definitely very showy. It's an option though. I feel like it's an option. Would I feel super confident in this long for long periods of time? I don't think so. Oh, but here we could try this. Maybe I just need to tighten it a little bit and try and bring it up so then it doesn't show as much of my stomach. Obviously it still shows majority of my stomach, but this is an option. Since we are working with a whole lot of nothing, it could work. And is it too skin colored? I don't know. Okay, here's the front, here's the back. Next option, outfit number two. We have, this is a win. This is gonna be one of the outfits. I freaking love this. I have it on 
with some cowboy boots, some cowgirl boots. And I think that this is a vibe of an outfit. These are all from Meshki. The one I just tried on, this one, and then I have one other outfit. I think that I like this vibe more than I like the next vibe that I'm gonna go for and try on. I feel like I wish that it was stagecoach attire. I also like country music better, but I'm still excited. I'm so excited for the artists and everything at Coachella, but I'm just saying it's so much easier to dress country vibe than Coachella vibe because I feel like Coachella vibe is literally like wear whatever. There's not really any kind of vibe and I think that makes it harder. It really does. So my next one I feel like would be perfect for Coachella and or for Stagecoach, but it might even work for Coachella as well. This outfit, I'm comfortable. I'm warm. It's going to be at night. Part of the time I'm going to be there at night and I think I'm going to have to freeze in probably some outfits. But this outfit I feel like will be good for when it's warm and then still good when it cools down a little bit at night. Woo! We got one. Okay, adorable, but it's got to go. It's not the most adorable because I feel like one of my boobs is going to fall out. It does not fit me well. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Can this tighten up here? Let me look. Okay, well, that might just have made a difference. Okay, what do we think about this one? What do we think? I'll actually have this video up before I leave for Coachella. So maybe I'll wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Is it too stage coachy? Hmm. I think it's adorable though. Now that it's not like got me all too loose, falling out and whatnot. I, this is what I was saying. I just think that this one would be perfect for stagecoach because it's very country girl, shake it for me. We take these off whenever it's about to rain just to keep them nice and to not have them absolutely soaking wet. And it was storming yesterday. But I'm going to read some of my book right now. Hope you can even hear me over the waterfall. I'm reading a new uh, Freedom McFadden book right now. And it's Perfect Sun. And it is so good. I mean, her books are so addicting. It's not even funny. I'm only 25% done right now. So I'm going to sit here and read for a bit. I had yesterday and I have probably about a serving and a half I'd say of cottage cheese. I'm kind of been like eyeballing my macros. I'll wait out here and there and you know I'm like half I'm probably tracking my macros half the time right now just because and I'm still loosely doing it even when I do that um just because I want to make sure one that I like reach the physique goals that I want for the wedding but also so that I'm reserving uh muscle mass while I do that and you know protein because that's hard for me but I will say I'm so much more of like a snack lunch person than dinner and I had ground beef and sweet potato and avocado for lunch so I kind of had like flip-flop this for lunch normally and then the other for dinner and I just was craving some powdered cheese. I thought I had a little other in here. I'm doing cottage cheese, some cucumber, and then some tomatoes. I'll put some salt and pepper on there, and then I will do arugula. And Jay and I are gonna sit outside. I was just reading and he got home, and we sat out there for probably about 45 minutes, just chit-chatting about our day. 
We are both gone all day working, so I always love when we come home and get to just catch up a little. So that's what we've been up to. He just made his dinner. I'm making mine and we're gonna sit outside for a bit. Oh, I'm craving this big time. I didn't have cottage cheese earlier, so Jay got some on the way home at the grocery store. Pranked me, said that he forgot, and he had it in a different drawer in the fridge. And he's like, dang, I'll go to the grocery store. I'm so, so sorry, pranking me. And I'm like, are you joking? Is this April Fool's? He's like, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, what do you know? A prankster, he was. He had it for me. He pranked me into thinking he went there for the cottage cheese and left with anything but it to Whole Foods. Oh, I forgot to put on the salt and pepper. Hold up. Pepper. Salt. I don't like a ton of arugula on this because then you can't taste all the, the other things. And here it is, time to go eat.